When Steenberg Homes intentionally trespassed on Harvey and Lois Jacques' farm to deliver a mobile home to a customer, it made sure not to cause any damage to the elderly couple's land. But its carefulness turned out to be futile, because the company was still hit with a $100,000 judgment. Jacques versus Steenberg Homes, Inc. illustrates that a landowner, even without suffering actual harm, can be compensated for losing the right to exclude others from their land. In 1993, Steenberg sold a mobile home to the Jacques' neighbors. However, when Steenberg went to deliver it, the only road to the neighbor's land was covered in seven feet of snow. Steenberg asked the Jacques if it could cut across part of their 170-acre farm field to deliver the home, but the Jacques vehemently refused. Steenberg decided to cut across the field anyway. The Jacques then reported the trespass to the police, and Steenberg received a $30 citation. The Jacques were sensitive about the matter and decided to file a civil suit against Steenberg for intentional trespass, seeking both compensatory and punitive damages. The case went to a jury trial, and at the completion of evidence, Steenberg moved for a directed verdict, requesting the judge to decide the case as a matter of law. In the motion, Steenberg admitted to trespassing, but argued that the Jacques were not entitled to damages because no harm was caused to the land. The trial court denied Steenberg's motion, and the case was submitted to the jury, who awarded the Jacques $1 in nominal damages and $100,000 in punitive damages. Steenberg then filed a motion to set aside the verdict and for a remitter of the punitive damages award. The trial court granted Steenberg's motion to set aside the verdict, concluding that punitive damages could not be awarded in the absence of compensatory damages. The Jacques then appealed the decision to the Wisconsin Court of Appeals, which affirmed. The Supreme Court of Wisconsin then granted a petition for review of the case.